welcome back to my channel or if you're new here very welcome my name is Yava and it's super super nice to have you here this session will be perfect whenever you don't have a lot of time as it will take us less than 10 minutes you can do it during your lunch break as a quick break while you're working or whenever else you are short of time for this session you will only need yourselves and an object so it can be absolutely anything a water bottle a book or whatever else you have nearby and without further ado let's get started in a standing position we will start by standing on the left foot and the right leg will be in the air. We will play a game, so we will want to put the object somewhere in front of us, to the left, to the right and back behind us while balancing on one foot. So grabbing the object, put the object somewhere in front of you and then lift yourself back up and then we go back down to pick the object back up. And let's do on all sides. And you can decide how, how much you want to challenge yourselves. So you can put it closer, you can put it further away, and then this will increase the intensity. It's absolutely perfect to fall out of a position. That's part of the game. So we don't need a perfectionism. That's perfect when we fall out of a position. Once you've done all these four sides with standing on one leg, let's swap sides. If you need more time, just stop your recording and press play once you're finished with that leg. And then let's stand with the right, on the right leg, put the object somewhere in front, lift yourself back up, pick the object, come back into the center, lower the object, Come back into the center. So this you could do before a climbing session to work on your balance, on the hip mobility. So activate all the muscles in that area. It's okay to fall out of the position and slowly going back. And not taking it seriously. But yeah, I even like to put somewhere in an uncomfortable position so I would challenge myself and that I would fall out of the balance. So that's perfect. So once you've done both legs, four directions, and now we will explore different kinds of squats. So again, having your object, we will squat down in any way you wish, lower the object down, lift yourself back up. Now we move one leg somewhere and then I do the squat again. I pick the object, I come back up. I lower it down, I come back up and then a different kind of squat to pick the object. So here we want to introduce a bigger variety of movements. So we squat, we lower, we put one foot somewhere, we squat up again to pick the object up. And this you could do in any way, trying to explore something that you haven't done yet. And you can, of course, decide on the intensity and the speed, how fast you want to squat and change, or how slow you want to explore this task-based movement. Let's do one more time. And let's shake the legs. Relax your legs. And the third one for our shoulders. 
if you have practiced with me for a while, you know my favorite shoulder teacups or rotations. So grab the object that you have on one hand and let's start to do the spiral. So the object goes towards the body, up and around. And here you could decide on the intensity. And by that I mean you could explore standing on one leg while we do the rotations. And also my invitation is not to hold the object, but try to have it on your palm. So it's okay that it drops, but this way, I think we can activate the shoulder joint a little bit more. And then let's swap sides. So same arm, but just going the opposite direction. Maybe meeting in the squat while we do these rotations. I sometimes like to close my eyes and just to explore the sensation, what's happening in the body while I do these rotations. And then lower the object to the other hand. Let's go. Let's give some love to the other shoulder joint. And then let's go the other direction. So if you were going towards the body, go away. Maybe staying still or adding any other movements that you'd like. This is another one that I like to do before climbing to warm up my shoulders. And you can do that with a slightly heavy, heavier weight. And over time we can be increasing the weight. So our shoulder joint could continue to adapt to the load. Let's do a couple of more. Okay, so we are finished with this very quick movement snacks. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any insights or discoveries and how it went. I have quite a couple of excited sessions planned to film next week. So consider subscribing if you haven't done so already so you can be notified when those sessions come out. And of course, if you have any requests for future yoga sessions, let me know down in the comments below or via an Instagram message. See you.